Mutations in Grounded, there's a bunch of them and they can do all sorts of beneficial things. But still, which mutation is the most magnificent mutation of all is what you might ask your magic mirror on the wall if Grounded had mirrors. Or is it mirror mirror on the wall? Fuck off! Is it mirror mirror or magic mirror? Uh huh. Yeah. What do you mean the internet doesn't know? Mandela effect? What the crap, Biscuit Sparkle? This is serious. Otherwise, no one is going to get the reference. Life is and or was like a box of chocolates. Bernstein, Berenstain, Berenstein, alternate realities, quantum colliders. This is pretty heavy. Next, you'll tell me armor glue's not a thing and ground it. What? Huh? It's not? Well, it was in the backyard I came from. Anyway, some mutations make you stronger with specific weapon classes, and others help to chop down grass or break up rocks. And some mutations even summon super special spiderling supporters while slashing swiftly through the seemingly endless supply of suspicious scoundrels amongst the supersized surroundings of the backyard. Sort of like helpful Pokemon. No, we're not doing a video about Pokemon. Nintendo's too much of a wild card when it comes to DMCA stuff. Do you understand that, Sparkle the Superpowered Fox Rabbit? Apple. Sparkle, Sparkle, it's, it's not my fault. There's already a ton of Pokemon YouTubers, and the only thing I would be able to teach anyone is how to breed proper-natured Fox Rabbits to build competitive bands of Earth, Wind, and Fire-themed Fox Rabbits for PvP. And no one uses teams of competitive Fox Rabbits in Pokemon. It's always the dragons and stuff, or the poison. Poison is always such a pain in any game. Anyway. What? You recorded all that? Edit it out. This video is about grounded, Sparkle. Grounded. Because if you want to know which mutations in grounded are the top five or are just a fan of grounded themed, grounded related content presented in tutorial format, then you've found the right channel because that's basically all that I do here and I upload videos once, twice, and sometimes even zero times a week. So if you enjoy that, then you could do me a huge favor by taking down the like button with a swift headshot and I hope that this video earns your subscription today. What up? It's Tiny Pirate Gaming, and in this video, we'll be talking about mutants. Not the Marvel kind, not the turtle kind, and definitely not the sports kind. None of those. Instead, we're talking about the miniaturized ones. Or more specifically, the top five mutations in Grounded, and why I think these mutations above all others provide the most usefulness for surviving anywhere in the backyard. Many of the mutations in the game serve very specific purposes and while beneficial for those specific tasks are otherwise only slightly advantageous for doing anything else. I am shocked! Shocked! Well, not that shocked. For example, Grassmaster. This mutation allows you to chop down grass with less swings, which can be beneficial for building and tool durability. However, once you get an upgraded tier 3 or even a tier 2 axe, the benefits of this mutation become insignificant compared to many of the other mutations available for use. The same can be said about Rockcracker in regards to the hammers and even Ant Annihilator in regards to the higher tier weapons. And speaking of weapons, there's a bunch of mutations specifically catered to each individual weapon class. Well, except for this thing. It's, it's not a spear. It's not a sword. It, is, it a, is it a sham wow? You'll be saying wow every time you use this towel. It's like a chamois, it's like a towel, it's like a sponge. A regular towel doesn't work wet. This works wet or dry. Regardless of what it is, due to the combat mechanics overhaul regarding weapon classes and enemy weaknesses, these weapon mutations, much like the farming mutations, are very circumstantial and not suited for general survival anywhere in the backyard. Now that we've sussed out the mediocre mutations, let's get into the meat and potatoes. Or should it be roasts and bits? Oh, that, that's a good one. Meals and dew droplets. Number five. Cardiofan is a great mutation that grants an increased stamina recharge rate by employing the perk Hyper Stamina. This mutation can be easily unlocked and upgraded by depleting your stamina bar over and over again. 
exhausting your tiny body over and over again, your cells adapt a more efficient respiration process. This stamina boost is extremely beneficial in almost all circumstances, whether you're farming for a building project, bashing on some bugs, or bugging out because you're outnumbered by the baddies. And because of this versatility, CardioFan cruises in at number 5. This works wet or dry. Number 4. Perfect blocking is probably the most pivotal power worth practicing to perfection primarily because of the combat mechanics built into the game. And while you're practicing to become proficient with your perfect blocks, you'll also probably unlock the Parry Master mutation, which can be used to power up your perfect blocks, possibly. Actually, this mutation recharges some of your stamina every time you successfully perform a perfect block. The higher the tier of this mutation, the more stamina it will recharge with each perfect block. Because stamina is depleted in combat while attacking, being able to gain back stamina quickly can allow you the opportunity to deal extra damage in the shortest amount of time, which can sometimes mean the difference between survival and failure. And while this mutation is specifically focused on combat, it remains beneficial regardless of which bug you happen to be bashing or which weapon you happen to be using. So it's still versatile in its own way, which is why Parry Master plows into the fourth position. What, what what do you mean we what do you mean too much pee? That doesn't matter. It's been like two weeks. We're filming this video. I'm not rewriting the script. Number three. If you want to move fast, maybe even faster than fast, then mutation number three on this list is just what you're looking for. It's called Natural Explorer. Tendrils from your memory map every bump, crack, and path between each landmark found until the lawn becomes as familiar as the back of your hand. Powered by intuition, your tiny feet skitter through the muck and weeds ever quicker. Whether you're exploring the ever-expanding yard while on exploratory expeditions or escaping the embrace of an overly excited enemy, the Natural Explorer mutation will ensure you the best effort for efficiency by energizing your speed and evasiveness when invoking the extraordinary perk explained as the quickness. And if we drop the alliterations, or as I like to say in a lame man's terms, this mutation is going to make you go fast. And being faster is beneficial for just about every activity in Grounded. Farming, bashing, building, and burgling to earn that sweet delicious magical raw science. Delicious magical science. Due to its versatility and the constant need for more speed, I rank Natural Explorer as the third best, most useful, top tier mutations in Grounded. Number 2 Poison is probably, possibly, potentially, and most definitely one of the biggest pains to deal with in any game. In Grounded, poison primarily comes from wolf spider attacks and it will slowly drain your health over time, in addition to the damage inflicted by the initial attack. And in many cases, if you're not prepared to pound down those healing items with the speed of a Super Saiyan spam, then you're probably, possibly, potentially, and most definitely not going to survive. Fortunately, there is a mutation that can help with that, and it is, it is called Mithridatium. Mithridatium? Mithridatium. Anyway, you call it Mithri. Your body has been ravaged by the thrilling surge of poison coursing through so many times that it has built up a permanent immunity. Mithridatism is basically an anti-poison perk, and despite what the game's description says, you can actually unlock this mutation by simply defeating wolf spiders without ever being poisoned. I mean, unless you unless you want to be poisoned, then uh, then you, then this is not this is not the perk for you. Now you might be saying to yourself, but TPG, this mutation is not very versatile and seems highly circumstantial, much like the mediocre mutations you mentioned earlier. This works wet or dry. And you're right. This mutation serves only one purpose. However, because wolf spiders can be encountered almost everywhere across the yard, and being poison is such a constant threat to survival, I feel that the usefulness of this mutation outweighs many of the others for the simple fact that it increases significantly your chances of survivability against arguably the most commonly encountered danger in Grounded. And before moving on to the number one mutation in Grounded, there's one honorable mention, Mom Jeans. 
Mom genes can be unlocked by defeating the hedge broodmother spider and will cause spiderlings to sometimes spawn in to assist you while you're in combat. This mutation can be useful in drawing enemy aggro away from you during combat, which can open up an opportunity to attack without having to worry about blocking. Unfortunately, these spiderling supporters aren't very powerful and they spawn in so randomly that you can't count on it activating when needed. So despite this mutation offering a tactical combat advantage, giving it a clear edge over the circumstantial mutations, its unreliability and the weakness of the spiderling attacks makes it far from one of the most useful mutations in Grounded, but it is still worth mentioning. Number 1 Concluding this collaborative list of crucially important mutations is the most critical mutation of all, Coupe de Grasse. Discovering a beacon of hope in the darkness lifts your will to survive. Bursts of inspiration flash before your eyes in the heat of battle as you land blows one can only describe as lucky. Coupe de Grasse currently has two tiers. One of these can be unlocked by discovering the secret four-leaf clover landmark, and the other one is activated by rolling the dice at the end of the picnic table's maze until the number 20 faces up. See the description for additional tutorials. Coupe de Grasse will give you a greater chance to land a critical hit, which will inflict more damage upon your target than a basic bash. But that's not all, because critical hits in Grounded are not only beneficial in battle, but can also be advantageous while harvesting resources that need to be chopped down with an axe or cracked apart with a hammer. This means that sometimes, even while outfitted with low tier tools, you will have a chance to save some durability by needing less swings to chop down that next grass stalk or shatter that next sap clump. But wait, there's more, because when you do manage to land a critical hit on an enemy in combat, Coupe de Grasse comes with the added bonus of being able to cancel out enemy attacks. And each critical attack on an enemy will also stagger the opponent off balance, briefly giving you a chance to continue your Berserker Barrage or reposition yourself to the high ground in preparation of the enemy's next attack. And due to its versatility in combat and farming, along with its damage dealing stun capabilities, I rank Coupe de Grasse as pound for pound the absolute best mutation in Grounded. But hey, that's just a theory, a tiny pirate gaming theory. Thanks for watching, and cut. Right, 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 that's not my thing. This is my thing. If you enjoyed the video, you could do me a huge favor by taking down the like button with a swift headshot, and if you're a fan of Grounded-themed, Grounded-related content presented in tutorial format, then you found the right channel because that's basically all that I do here, and I hope that this video earned your subscription today. You can also follow me on Twitch for live streams, Twitter for channel news, and join the Tiny Pirate Gaming Discord for discussions on Grounded gaming, content creation, and more, along with me and the rest of the hashtag Tiny Crew. So whether you want to list your top 5 mutations here in the comments, tell me how wrong I am over on the Twitch sphere, or I see you someplace else across the streamiverse, just know that I appreciate all of your support and thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Alright matey, watch your step. There be a tiny pirate here. Spamming his, spamming his environmental attack and hiding in a distance where I can't fight him. Cheesing me? You chin or cheesing me? Nobody chin or cheeses me. You'll be saying wow every time you use this towel. It's like a chamois, it's like a towel, it's like a sponge. A regular towel doesn't work wet. This works wet or dry. I am shocked, shocked. Well, not that shocked. Maybe if I jump in the water. Taking a big, big, big risk here. Hey! Ah! Ah! I am shocked. Shocked. Well, not that shocked. <laughs> no! This works wet or dry. <laughs> Why? You'll be saying wow every time you use this towel.